Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make that the cable poncho that you just saw in the picture. It's it's so big I can't lay it out on my counter space. It just takes up the whole area. So uh, for this project I used Lion Brand Scarfy Yarn, which is an acrylic wool blend and it is a bulky number five now you do not have to use this brand but i highly recommend using a bulky number five i would not use a four ply it's not going to turn out the same as mine unless you use the bulky number five and there are 312 uh, yards per skein and i used almost five skeins i really wanted to put a hood on this i had it all envisioned in my head to put the hood on I I ran out of yarn and I lived so far away from anywhere to get another skein so I was kind of depressed about it but I still think it turned out okay I'll put a hood on my next poncho but you'll need five skeins and you know if you want to leave the fringe off you probably wouldn't need that much but if you want to make it like mine um, five skeins of the scarfy now I did not use this color the color I used was called cream taupe but of course you can use any color that you like and I also used a size K which is a six and a half millimeter crochet hook so let's go ahead and get started on it okay you want to start off with a long chain of 86 and now what we're gonna do we're gonna follow it all the way down without twisting it and we're gonna slip stitch into our very first stitch to form one large ring so slip stitch into our very first one there. Okay, and now what we're going to do is chain three. And that chain three is going to count as our first double crochet. And now we're going to work one double crochet in every stitch all the way around the entire ring. Until we get back to the beginning. Just like that. So when you work one double crochet in every stitch all the way around, and you get back to the beginning, you should have 86 stitches counting this chain three. Okay, once you make it all the way around and you have your 86 stitches, we're gonna go ahead and end round one by slip stitching into our first double crochet or that beginning chain three there. Like that. Now we're gonna start forming the points of the poncho. This poncho is gonna have two points. It's gonna be a two point poncho, one in the front and one in the back. So we're going to start off with a chain of three, and that counts as a double crochet. And then we're going to go back into the same stitch, and we're going to work one more double crochet. A chain of two. And back in the same stitch again, and work two more double crochets. So that is what our points are going to consist of every single time. Two double crochets, because that chain three counts as a double crochet. Two double crochets, a chain two, and two double crochets. Now we're going to work one double crochet into the next two stitches and make sure you get this one. Pull this back because sometimes it gets hidden. Got to make sure you got to go into that one. So put one double crochet into that one and then one double crochet into the next one. And now we're going to start forming our first cable. And the cables are made with front post triple crochets. So what we're going to do is we're going to skip three stitches skip 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 and we're going to work a front post triple into the next three so skip three yarn over twice like you're going to do a triple crochet instead of going into the top of the stitch we work around the post of the stitch like that kind of grab it and then we just do a regular triple crochet so that's a front post triple it's the same as a regular triple crochet except we're working around the post and then we're not working into the top of the stitch and we want to do that three times so that was one now we're going to yarn over again yarn over twice go around the post of the next stitch like that and do your triple crochet and then one more time 
yarn over twice, go around the post of the next stitch, and triple crochet, like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back and front post triple crochet around the three stitches that we skipped, starting with the first one. So it'll be this one, this one, and then this one. So we're going to yarn over twice for a, a triple crochet, and we're going to go all the way around to the first one that we skipped around the post of it, like that, and go ahead and do our triple crochet. Now these cables aren't hard. The biggest thing is just making sure you kind of got to move them around and make sure you find the right stitches. So here's my next one I need to do. Yarn over twice like I'm going to do the triple crochet. Go around the post of the next one. Do my triple. And then one more time. Kind of move your post around to find it. You can see it right there. Yarn over twice. Go around the post of it. And do your triple crochet. Just like that. So that's the start of the first cable. Now we're going to put one double crochet into the top of the next two stitches. So into the top. We're not going to do the front. We're not going to go around the post of it. So in the top, one double crochet in the top of the next stitch. And one double crochet into the top of the next one. And that's going to be our repeat now. Now we're going to do our cable again. So we're going to skip the first or the next three stitches, skip, 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 and front post triple around the next three. So we're going to yarn over twice, go around the post of the first one here, triple crochet, and the next one, triple crochet. And the next one. Double crochet. And now we're going to go back and front post triple crochet around these three posts that we skipped. Starting with the first one way over here. around get your next one and then the last one like that and that's the start of your second cable now we're going to put one double crochet into the next two stitches into the top of the next two stitches like that and then we're going to do another cable so we're going to skip three skip 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 front post triple around the next three That. Now we're going to go back to the three that we skipped and front post triple around those three starting with the first one. And that is our third cable now. Now we're going to put one double crochet into the next two stitches. Make sure you're not going into the one here that this that we have the triple crochet around the post. Make sure you're going into the next one there. Right here. 
regular double crochets in the next two and then we'll start a cable again so you want to do that until you have a total of five cables made so we're on three and we're getting ready to work our fourth one okay I just did my fifth cable there you can see here's our first point and then I got one two three four five now I'm gonna go ahead and put two double crit my two double crochets after this cable and now what I'm going to do is a point into the next stitch so I'm going to put all this into this next stitch two double crochets chain of two and two more double crochets all into that same stitch and that is our second point now what we're going to do is we're just going to repeat what we started when we started here on the other side so we're going to start off by doing two double crochets into the first two stitches so one in the first one or one double crochet in each of the first two so one here and then one in the next and then we're going to do our cable so we're we'll skip three one two three and front post triple crochet into the next three Go back and front post triple in the three that you skipped. that that's our first cable on this side and then one double crochet into the next two stitches one and one and then we start our cable again so I'm just going to repeat what we did over here on this side until we get to the end and you should have five cables on this side when you get to the end and five cables on this side okay I just did my fifth cable on this side and I have two stitches left and I want to go ahead and put one double crochet in each of those and now I'm going to end round two by slip stitching into the beginning chain three like that now you should have the start of ten cables now five on each side of your points so now we're going to start round three by slip stitching two times until you get to the center of this first point so there's one and two and then we're going to make another point so we're going to chain three which counts as a double crochet go back into the chain space and do another double chain of two and two more doubles so that's always our points two double crochet chain two two double crochet now I'm going to work one double crochet into the next four stitches. These four stitches right here until I get to my first cable. So there's one, two, three, and four. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work a front post triple crochet in each of the next six stitches and we're going to start with these three right kind of that are set in the back one two three and then you work in these three four five six front post triple crochets around them starting with this first one and this is the other this is how you do the other part of the cable 
go to the next one front post triple and the next one you kind of got to look for it. it's the one that's set in the back And then these front three cables here, front post triple around each of those. Like that. And then one double crochet in each of these next two double crochets. And now it's just kind of a repeat of that. And that is what the cable starts to look like. And the more rounds that you do, it'll start to look a lot better. But basically, basically the cable is just those two rows that we just did. So it's pretty easy. So now we're going to go to this next one and we're going to front post triple around these back three cables first and then these front three cables. So we're going to yarn over and go to the first one and front post triple crochet around it. I kind of usually stick my finger in between them, that way I can get them separated. And then you can see my other two that I still need to go around. Or that's what works best for me anyways. And then put my finger there and I'll be able to see that third one in the back. It's the one that kind of gets lost sometimes. And then you front post triple around these three up in front here. And then we're going to put one double crochet in each of these two double crochets right here. And we're just going to kind of repeat this until we get to our first point. So again, front post triple and kind of into these, put your finger in between these three here. You need to go through these three first, front, tri front post triple crochet around those first. You just got to kind of move them around and make sure you're getting the right one. That's all that the hardest part about cables is they kind of get in, intertwined with each other. But as long as you move them around, you'll be able to find, find them pretty easy. Nope, I'm so sorry. I hit the camera. third one there so that's what it's starting to look like I got three of the cables done now and then I just put one double crochet into the next two double crochets now I'm going to repeat this until I get over here to my fifth cable so I got two more cables to do and I'll meet you right over here okay I just did my fifth cable on this side and I'm right coming up to my point. So what I'm gonna do is put one double crochet into these next four double crochets. So one in each of them. And then I'm at my point. So in this chain space, I'm gonna put two double crochet, a chain of two, and two double crochet. And now we're gonna start again, what we did on this side, over on this side. So we're gonna work one double crochet in these first four double crochets.
and then we'll start our cables again by working front post triple and these back three and then in the front three like that and then one double crochet in each of the next two double crochets so we're going to repeat this all the way until we get done with our five cables and I'll meet you back right over here okay I just did my fifth cable on this side and now I'm going to put one double crochet in these four double crochets right here so one two three and four and now I'm going to end with a slip stitch into the beginning chain three and that'll end around three and you'll still have your five cables on each side it's just starting to get bigger at each of the points so round four we're going to slip stitch again two times until we get two that first chain space of that first point. Now we're going to start by chain and three, which counts as our double crochet. Work another double in there, chain two, and another double, or two more doubles, I'm sorry. So that was two double chain, or chain three, which counts as a double. So two double, chain two, two double. Now we're going to put one double crochet in each of these six stitches. So what we're doing right here is we're working until we get 10 double crochets right here from the point on and then we'll be able to start another cable. So we'll just keep working until we reach that point. So one double in these first six here. Okay. Oh. okay, now we're going to go back to skipping these first three and front post triple crocheting into the next three. So these three right here. So we skipped these three and we're going to front post triple into the next three. So what we did on round two, we're going to do on round four. And now we'll go back and triple front post triple crochet in these three that we skipped. Like that. And one double crochet into the next two double crochets. So what we're doing is we're just repeating round two. The only difference is there's more double crochets in the beginning. But other than that, it's going to be the exact same. So we'll go ahead and skip our first <coughs> three stitches and front post triple crochet around the next three. Okay. 
and then we'll go back to the three we skipped and front post triple crochet around those I got a big knot here so find the three you skipped and front post triple crochet around those And then it's one double crochet into the next two double crochets. Now we're going to repeat this until we get up to our next point. So I will meet you right over here. Okay, so I made it. I just did my fifth um, cable on that side. So what I'm going to do is put one double crochet in each of these, the next six, six double crochets. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then I'm going to put two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet into this, the next point space, so the next chain space. So two doubles, chain two. Two more doubles. And now I'm going to start again by putting one double crochet in each of these first next six stitches. One, two, three, four. five, six, and then I'm going to start my cable again by skipping the first three and front post triple in, into the next. Go back into the three that I skipped front post triple into those and one double crochet in each of the next two double crochets so I'm going to repeat this until I get down here to the end. Okay, I've made it over here and now I'm just going to put one double crochet in each of these last six stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six and I'm going to end row four by slip stitching into my beginning chain three and you still should have ten cables we just have more stitches here at the point so I'm going to start row five by slip stitching two times to the first chain space now row five is a repeat of row three only difference is more stitches here. So we chain three, go back in and double crochet, chain two, and two more double crochet. Now it's one double crochet in these next eight stitches. So we go ahead and work down. Okay. 
and now what we do is what we did in row three we front post triple around these first three in the back and then around the first three in the front so front post triple around the first three into the back kind of got to look for them and make sure you get the right ones and get them in the right order otherwise your cables get all tangled and that's no good and then these first three in the front here we go around them Oops. like that and then it's one double crochet into the next two double crochets and it's just the repeat just like that and that's what the cables are starting to look like the cable is just a repeat of those two rows that we've been doing so I'm just going to repeat now for row 5 what we did on row 3. Front post triple crochet in these back 3 and then front post triple crochet in the front 3. And I'm going to do that all the way until I get to my point here. Okay, I've made it to my next point here. So it's one double crochet in these next 8 stitches. There's 1, 2, 3, And now it's two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet in the point. And then we repeat what we did on this side, on this side. So one double crochet in these first eight. And then we front post triple around the back three. And then around the front three, three. And then two double crochet in the next two. So we're just repeating still row three or repeating round this is round five we're working on and we're just repeating what we did on round three okay i'm coming to the end of round five so now i'm just going to put one double crochet in these last eight double crochets here And then we're going to end round five by slip stitch or slip stitching into the beginning chain three. Now, what we're going to do from now on is just going to be a repeat of rows two through five. So, actually, on this round, it's actually round six, but we're just going to repeat what we did on round two. We're going to add another cable because we have 10 double crochets here now. So we're going to slip stitch over two times till we get to our first double crochet. Chain three, or till we get to our first chain space. Chain three, and then double crochet. So you got two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets. And then we're going to put one double crochet into the first two stitches, like that. And we're gonna start another cable now. The cable has worked over six stitches, so we're gonna skip the first three and front post triple crochet into the next three. Just like we did on round two. And now we're going to go back and front post triple crochet into the three that we skipped. That. 
And then we're going to put a double crochet in these next two double crochets. And now we added a new cable. And then we're just going to start all over again. So we just keep going with these cables, right, that we've already had started. We skip the first three and front post triple into the next three. So this is not a hard pattern. As long as you're comfortable doing cables, it's actually pretty easy. Go back to the three you skipped and front post triple in those three. One double crochet into the next two. And we're just gonna keep repeating what we're doing, what we did on row two, and the same thing we did on row four until we get over here, and then we're gonna make a new cable over here. Okay, I'm down here near the other point, so we're gonna make another cable on the same side here that we've been working on. So we're gonna put one double crochet into the next two stitches, because there's always two double crochets in between every cable. And now in, over the next six stitches, we're gonna make a cable. So we're gonna skip the first three and front post triple around the next three. And back up and go around the three we skipped. Like that. And then one double crochet into the next two double crochets. And then we're at our point and that's where we'll put Two double crochet, chain two, and two more double crochets. Now instead of having five cables on this side, we're going to have seven. So we got five that are getting longer, and then we got two that we just started. So it's seven total now on this side. Now we're going to flip it over here, and we're going to start working on this side. And we're going to do the same thing we just did over here, over here. So we're going to put one double crochet into the first two stitches. And then we're going to work a cable over the next six. So we're going to skip three, one, two, three. And in the next three, front post triple. And then back, back into the three that we skipped, front post triple. And then one double crochet into these next two double crochets. And then we're at our next cable. Skip first three, front post triple into the next, the next three. Back it up, front post triple into the three we skipped. Now I'm just gonna repeat this just like we did on the other side and just like we did on round two until I get over to the near to near the other point I'm on double crochet in these next two stitches and then I'll start my next cable okay I am over here on this side and we're gonna add one last cable down here on this end so we're gonna put one double crochet into the first two stitches because remember there's always two double crochets between the cables and then over the next six we'll work a cable so we'll skip three front post triple around the next 
three. Go back to the three you skipped. And then one double crochet into the last two stitches. And then we're going to end with a slip stitch into your beginning chain three. Now, that's going to be the repeat now from now on. Now, instead of having 10 stitches total, you're going to have four more. You're going to have 14. So it's a repeat of rows two, three, four, and five. You just keep repeating those rows. And every time you finish a repeat of rows two, three, four, and five, you'll add another four cables. So every time you finish the, that four row repeat, you'll add four more cables, two on each side. And it'll just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And you wanna do this until you get your poncho the length that you want it to be. Okay, I went ahead and did a total of 31 rows of uh, all together of the cables. Now you can do more if you want. Just remember that though, if you do do more, if you make it longer, you'll need more yarn than what I said in the beginning. Now I'm gonna go around the uh, collar area. I was gonna make a hood, but I ran out of yarn. And I live too far away from any place that carries this yarn. So I'm just gonna go around the edge here. Now you see these five, I'm in the, I have the back side of my work facing me. That way the seam's in the back. But this is the back, back side. And we have five double crochets here that are not front post triple crochets. Like here's a front post triple and here's a front post triple. I'm going to start in this very first one. And then I'm going to single crochet these three together. And then single crochet in this one. So I'm just going to start in this very first one, and I'm going to chain one. Now I'm going to go back into that same stitch and do a single crochet. Now I'm going to single crochet the next three double crochets together. So what I'm going to do is go into the next double crochet and draw up a loop, go into the next one, draw up a loop, and then go into the next one draw up a loop, yarn over, and go through all four loops. So that took three double crochets and made it into one single crochet. Now I'm going to put one single crochet into this next double crochet over here, like that. And now I'm just going to work my way around, putting one single crochet in every stitch until I get to the front of my poncho where this point is, and I'm going to do the same thing there. So I'm just going to continue working around, putting one single crochet in every stitch, just working in the tops of these stitches here. Just like that, until I get back around to the front point, and I'll meet you over there. Okay, I've made it to the front of my poncho, and here are the five double crochets in front right here. And we're just going to do the same thing. So we're going to single crochet into the first one. And then we're going to single crochet the next three together. So we go into the next one and drop a loop. And then the next one and drop a loop. And then the next one and drop a loop and yarn over and go through all four loops so that turn those three double crochets into one single crochet put one single crochet into the next double crochet and now i'm just going to work around putting one single crochet again in every stitch until i get back to my starting point and this is just cleaning up the collar a little bit 
So I'm going to work this until I get back around to the beginning. Okay, once you make it all the way around and you're back to your starting point, just go ahead and slip stitch into that first single crochet you made. Not that chain one, but the first single crochet. And then tie that off and clip that. So that just cleaned up that edge. Kind of disappointed I didn't get to put the hood on it. I had some nice pom-poms made and everything, but I'm going to do my next poncho. I'll make sure I get enough yarn. Now we're going to add fringe. If you want to add fringe, you can. And I have already started. And I made my fringe about five or six inches long. Of course, you can make yours as long or as short as you want. But putting fringe on is easy. If you know how to do it a different way than me, <clears throat> that's uh, fine. You can do it either way that you learned how. So what I did is I take about my fringe that I made. Now you can make it thicker or thin if you want to. Um, I got about six pieces of yarn and they're, they're about a foot long. Now I'm putting my fringe in between like this cable right here and then in between the two double crochets that's in between the cables. So I'm going to go in between this cable right here like that now I take my yarn from the top and I pull it through wherever I want to put my fringe now you can space it out however you want to like that and then I make sure these two ends are even and then I just pull it through like that and pull it tight and then I will cut it off to match the other ones. So I'll go ahead and do that again. I'll get six pieces of yarn, about a foot long. Now remember, you can make yours as long and short as you want. <clears throat> and you can use less pieces of yarn too. You don't have to use six. You can just use a couple pieces in each spot, but and you can space them out however you want. But I put that was in between that cable, so I'm going to go to the in between the next two double crochets, the two double crochets that are in between the cables. I'm going to go in between them, and I'm going to pull my yarn through from. This is the top of my work, like this, and then I make sure these are even down here, and then I grab it all and pull it through like that, like that. And I'll do that for a while, and then I'll cut them all off even. So again, I'm going to do it. I'll show you one more time because it's six pieces, about a foot long. And you, a lot of people might think that's too long, so you can make it shorter. It's, I know I particularly don't really like to put fringe. It's really time consuming, but I thought I would on this one. Now here's my next cable. I'm going to go right in between. Those three front post triples and those three front post triples. And I'm going to grab my yarn and pull it through. And make sure these are even down here. And pull them through like that. And just like that. And I'm going to do this all the way around my whole poncho. And then when I get to the point where there's no... Nothing right here. I already did it, but... When I get to the point here where there's no cables, there's just uh, double crochets, I just kind of evenly, I put one at the point and then I kind of just evenly spaced them out. So there's not really any, they're probably not exactly equal, but, but I'm going to keep working on my fringe until I get it all the way done. And then once you do, once you get that, you just kind of cut it off even all the way around. <clears throat> 